Well, hi, this is John Barclay. I wanted to get my two cents in on the last day of the sale. I've been traveling too much to get to this, and I'm finally home. So the new Topaz Adjust AI. What do I think? Well, what I think is it's pretty darn good with a couple of caveats. I think it's still a, a tad heavy-handed, but I know that the folks back in Topaz are going to do what they always do. They're going to listen to feedback, and they're going to make some changes. So just a quick couple of thoughts in this very short video. Um, this is the way it, you know, whoops, sorry about that. This is the way you see it from the get-go. Let um, me hit this fit one again, sorry about that. Uh, and you have all the presets as you normally would. I don't really care about the presets. I'm gonna come up here to the controls. Now I can see all of my sliders and the AI of section of this adjust tool. You should know that when you do not select standard or HDR style, so you leave this off, these sliders act like the old Adjust, which was one of the first products that caught my attention over 10 years ago from Topaz. So these sliders work just like they used to, albeit improved. So the new game here, though, is the ability to hit an, an AI, right, artificial intelligence, machine learning uh, uh, capability that's now built into this. I feel it's a little heavy handed. I think this is way overdone garish for standard and then HDR style is gonna be even worse. Uh, I don't ever see myself, well, that's gonna take a long time here to do. I don't ever see myself using the HDR style very much. Doesn't mean you should or shouldn't rather. It's just, it, it kind of overdoes things for me. So I'm gonna go back to the standard here. The good news is even though I feel it's a tad overdone, again, here's before, Here's after, they're giving us a strength slider to dial this down and make it look a little more realistic. So adjust, if you recall, some of my thoughts on that were, it's a great tool, especially for people who are new to processing and wanna get really good results quickly because adjust is going out there and trying to adjust that image and make it look like what you photographed easily and quickly without having to use a bunch of sliders. The good news here is, again, you have the ability to use that adjust with, and AI is adding a new lever, level of um, processing skill, if you will. But once we do that, we are still able to go in and add contrast if we want to. We're able to tone down highlights or bring up highlights. So we could, the starting place of the AI is great, um, but know that you can then fine tune. But it should also be known that you're not actually adjusting the AI technology that's happening. You're adding these adjustments on top of the AI portion, I guess. So I'm trying to find the right word portion to, to do this. So I give it a thumbs up for sure. It's another tool in your arsenal. And uh, I think there's nobody out there doing a better job with the artificial intelligence technology. And I know that the folks at Topaz are just going to make this better quickly, um, actually, because that's just the way it works with their products lately. So last day to get it at the discount. Check the information below this post and go get it. If you already have Adjust in your workflow,